It built Taunton's publication in 1858, a gazetteer of territories under East India Company and the native states on the continent of India. In that book, it is said that a fort on the north or right side of Palavur, P-A-L-A-U-R, Palavur, the principal tributary of the river Pannani. The old name was Palavur Kadu, Palavur Kadu, not Palakkadu, Palavur Kadu. And from this came the word Tripalavur, Tripalavur, Tripalavur. So these names, Palakkadu, Palavur, etc. In 1976, the gazetteer of Dr. C.K. Karim has changed this name. He says that the name Palakkad is because of the Astoria scholaris trees or the Pala trees in the area. And the old name of the Sangam literature as the Palai Vanam, the Palai Vanam of Sangam literature has been given to the area. So there are two terms, that is the Palavur card or the Palavur card and Palak card. Maybe the older name was, that is before the Sangam period, before the Palai Vanam concept, it would have been the Palavur card or Tripalavur. Now, the names like this happen because of a tributary of Palar. Palar is a tributary which starts from the Sakya mountains. The Palar and the Palar coming through the area that is Palavur. The area of the Palar as the Palavur, Palavur, Tripalavur, Palavur. All those things happened and in that area because of the collection of probably the Pal Palaivanam also came because of that and that area is considered to be the place of the Kottavai, the old war goddess of the ancient Indians. And in this area, the Velatri or Valuanada, Pulapata, Kudravata, the chieftains, all these people were there, the Tharur, the Vadamalapuram and Tenmalapuram were there, the Kollangot, major principalities, which happens to be the Gantharva kingdom of India, all these were in the same area. Then the old Nair chieftains of Manarka, Trikadiri, Manor, Mangara, Kannambra, all are in the East area. Now one thing that we have to remember is that till 1792 Malabar was a single unit. Both the North and South Malabar was together known as Malabar. There was no division into South and North. In December 1792 only the William Gamad, farmer and Major uh, Abraham Daw, the commissioners recommended to divide this area, just like the Bengal was divided into two, the, you know the Bengal division created a lot of hue and cry, but in, in Malabar division nothing happened, Just it was just divided into two places, the South Malabar and North Malabar, and till that time there was no division, the entire Malabar was under one jurisdiction, under one king, unless we know, uh, uh, unless we understand this factor, we will not be able to comprehend one of the inscriptions seen in the Tripalur temple in which the Tirunelli of Vayanad, Tiruyogi, Tirunelli, Tiruyogi of the Vayanad is mentioned. So this point is important to understand that 1792 means two years after the Tipu Sultan's uh, aggression in Malabar. Just two years after that, the British people divided Malabar into south and north. Till that time we were a one single unit. In the sense
census of temples done by the department of census the very ancient ancient division of temples has been given and in that the temple of the palur in alathur taluk which is called the shiva chetra but it contains both vishnu and shiva a, a twin chetra this is considered as very ancient and it is in the erimayur panchayat erima means mahisham that is it is related to the mahishmadi kingdom mahisham or mahishmadi erima is that, that is the mahishmadi kingdom that is mahishmadi is in the area of the narmada valley from narmada valley it, it we have to go back into time when narmada from narmada valley downwards it was an entire single kingdom of the mahishmadi mushaga kings and this particular shiva linga of tripalur is said to be done by ghara and this ghara ghara as all of us know lived during treta yuga yuga that is during shri rama's time so it is this very very ancient temple and on the north of it flows the beautiful gayatri river one of the tribu main tributaries of paridapura and actually there are three temples one for vishnu one for narasimha narasimha and the other for shiva and of these the narasimha shrine is the oldest it is said that ghara sat here and did the dhyana of shiva and a swayampu linga of shiva appeared in front of him and that he consecrated there itself and this he did with his left hand and with his right hand he did another consecration in the ayalur and with his teeth he did the third pradishta at pallavur so all the three are of the same antiquity and the palavur is one of the 108 shivalayas of india and it belonged for several years thousands of years it belonged to tarur soruba and you know that regarding the temples the shiva temple is rectangular dutala dutala and it is the god faces east and there is no sopana or adhisthana for the shiva temple the namaskara mandapa has 16 pillars an important thing is that the nandi is sitting inside a small pit at a lower level the reason is that because the shivalinga is swayambhu it is at a lower level so nandi has to be at a lower level he cannot sit at a higher level than the shivalinga and another peculiar feature here is that the naga shrines are seen inside the chitambalam on the towards the northeast the nagas are facing west and they are seen very near the well and in front of the naga there is a small shivalinga which is kept under a pit again it's a small shivalinga it's a small pit and small shivalinga something from the from beneath it is coming up then the vishnu temple is a square dutala temple and it is seen in the center and the granite adhisthanam is there namaskara mandapam is very small and the narasimha temple is egatala circular and there is a small namaskara mandapa the chitambalam has five doors three of them faces east one to the west and one to the north there are three bellicles only that of shiva is inside the agra mandapa all the others the other two are outside the chitambala but these two the, the, the bellicles of the two vishnu pradishtas are bigger than that of shiva and on the east side there is a beautiful tank about 3 acre in diameter and on the north flows the gayatri river then the daru pictures of Nav namaskar navagraha in the namaskara mandapa the ashtadik pala in the agra mandapa then there are so many murals on the vishnu shrine and also on the chitambalam 
and these have become very faded. The devas, flowers, etc. are seen made in stone on the griva and the adhisthana. Shivalinga is about 35 cm in length whereas the Vishnu, both in the Samham and the other Vishnu, both are 90 centimeters. That means the, the main Pradishta is Vishnu. The biggest one is the main Pradishta is the Vishnu and the Narasimha. And the Shivalingam being 35, it is smaller. It is an Upadeva done by Ghara. So Vishnu is older than that of Ghara. But later on, somehow the Shivalinga Pradishta became more famous. Now it is called the Shiva temple, but it is actually the older one is the Vishnu and the Narasimha. Then there are Subramanya, Ayyappa, etc. And the Tandri are the Kunnatu Pateri, Kaimuk and Panavurmana. Panavurmana, we will come again about this, about this mana, the details of this mana later. Om Shivaya Om Namah 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 Shivaya Shiva. Oh. 